Say hi to the little potato. <laughs> or not. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I guess we are starting this video in my car. We are currently in the drive through lane to go get a COVID test. I just feel like I need to catch you up a little before we get into this video. I'm sure you've already read the title. You've seen the thumbnail. I have to get foot surgery. I am having surgery this Friday. It is currently Tuesday, March 30th. So I am getting my COVID test and I am going into surgery Friday morning on my foot and then I won't be able to work or put weight on it for an entire month. It's nothing serious. I didn't injure myself. I just have this like really disgusting cyst that I have to get removed and fun fact, I've had this surgery before. I got this cyst removed three years ago but it was like much smaller and now it is back and better than ever baby. The last time I had this surgery it was really like nothing at all. I was like up and doing yoga like a week after but this one it's on the bottom of my foot now and I am going to have like a much longer recovery I just thought I would take you along this little foot surgery moment in my life and make a good video out of it I mean when life gives you lemons you put it on YouTube am I right <laughs> I'm not even trying to be dramatic. That was the most uncomfortable thing I've ever done in my entire life. Oh, I'm crying. Why did that happen? Cause I feel haunted in my bedroom. The floorboards in the next room will keep me warm. just went to the gym I feel like I am counting down the hours until I'm like not able to be like a normal person again so got a little sweat and just stretched out my body a little because I'm not gonna be able to in a couple of days also I'm still like so anxious when it comes to filming in public like I hope you enjoyed that phone footage. I am just not ready to bring that camera into the gym. I even get nervous like bringing my phone in to record myself because I feel like everyone is judging me. Now that I went to the gym, I'm going to run into Whole Foods and grab some dinner. I promise this whole video is not gonna just be in my car, but I just thought I'd update you. I hope you guys are having a good day whenever you are watching this. That felt good. I didn't do much, but what I did felt, it felt good. It is the night before my surgery. I just took my final shower, like my final normal shower. I shaved my legs for the last time probably. 
and had to stop eating. I guess I can still eat until midnight, but we had a good slice of pizza. We have to set our alarms for like 4.30. We have to be there at six in the morning. My surgery starts at seven, which is good because I'm literally like the first surgery of the day, which I think is like perfect. And then we'll be a biscuity little lady on my crutches. It's about like nine, 9.30 and Neil and I are gonna get in bed but I thought I would just update you one last time before I go in tomorrow morning. Let's go to sleep. <laughs> Say hi. Hey, LBC. If you haven't liked it, you've got to get it. Now might be a good time. This shit's about to get real bloody. <laughs> Say goodbye to that foot. Right. Let's go pick our Goldie Jane up. There she is. How you feeling? Good. Let me come get you. I was about to say love you. Okay. <laughs> I, I literally just caught myself. I was about to say love you. Is there something you want to tell me? I fucking love that woman. <laughs> Hi guys. It is day one post-op and I have been struggling to say the least. I didn't sleep at all last night and it just felt like the medicine just never kicked in for some reason. I don't know if I mentioned it yesterday. I don't even remember what I filmed or what I didn't film yesterday, but they gave me like a nerve block, which I was like completely numb from the knee down, like complete like dead leg. It felt like my leg was like 5,000 pounds. But then that nerve block wore off around 8.39 last night and then the pain really kicked in. I know I'm a dramatic person, but I also think I have a pretty high pain tolerance and that was by far the worst pain that I've ever been in. So I'm finally on like a good schedule with my medicine, just about to eat something. I just haven't really had an appetite or had the energy to do anything, but I wanted to update you guys and I've literally been laying right here all morning watching like old Kardashian reruns. I think I mentioned it in the beginning of the video that I've had this surgery before about like three years ago, but this recovery is nothing like the first time like i was like sobbing and screaming <laughs> into neil's arms this morning so it's been pretty intense i feel like i have bagel all of my teeth so i apologize that i look like a disgusting ogre but i thought i would pick up the camera and update you guys i've been updating the LBC Instagram and I just want to say I appreciate everyone messaging me and sending me sweet supportive messages because the past 24 hours have been rougher than expected but I'm just praying that today will be a little easier Hello, it is Sunday. I think the last time I updated you guys was yesterday, yesterday morning. And a lot has changed since then, thank God. Yesterday morning, 
slash yesterday, last night, no, not last night, the night before was probably the worst pain that I've ever been in in my life. And I don't know why, I just felt like the medicine never kicked in, but I am finally <laughs> under control. I was able to finally sleep last night, which I was very, very grateful for. So now it is Sunday morning. I have made it up out of the couch for a bit. I think I'm just gonna end this video here because it's not really gonna get that much more exciting from here on out because I am not <laughs> able to do much around the house. But I just wanted to thank you guys again for all of the sweet messages that all of you sent me over on my Instagram. I really, really, really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed this little surgery vlog. But I am planning on hanging on the couch for the rest of the day and the week and the month, if I'm just being honest. I am sure I will update you guys on my Instagram throughout my healing process and all of that good stuff, but I hope you enjoyed this little surgery vlog and I guess I will see you later on in the week if I'm feeling up to getting all dolled up for a normal <laughs> weekly YouTube video. So if you're not subscribed, go subscribe, like this video, and I will see you guys later. Hi guys. Say bye to the little potato. It's really, really attractive, isn't it? I don't think